Hi all folks, this is Max from uh, RootKindleFire.com. So today I'm going to show you how to root um, your Kindle Fire. Uh, so this is going to be method for, if you have system version 6.3 or 6.3.1. If you have the older version, um, use the older uh, root methods. Or you can upgrade to the latest 6.3.1. Um, so let me go to device and uh, you should see that your current version right there so I've got 6.3.1 which is um, the latest as of this video um, so if you have that or 6.3 you can use this root method and uh, it might work on 6.3.2 or 6.3.3 when it comes out or even 6.3.4 I can't tell you because uh, the versions are not out and I haven't tried it um, first thing you'll want to do is um, go to more and uh, go to device and make sure allow installation of applications is on and uh, that's pretty much it and simply connect it to your computer via USB cable and then we're going to go to our computer now I don't have a root script for uh, Mac or Linux but I'll make it soon um, first you'll want to do is uh, download Kindle Fire Root new 631.zip unzip it you'll get a folder called Kindle Fire Root new 3 6 3.1. Um, this will have all the files you need. First thing you want to do is uh, install the drivers. So go ahead and open up a device manager. If you don't know how to open up device manager for your Windows, please Google it. Um, you'll find that you'll have a Kindle Kindle thing here with the exclamation mark. Um, if you don't have this and it's already installed as ADB, just uninstall everything, restart your computer because you'll want to start with a fresh um, fresh driver. So go ahead and double click and hit uh, update driver and browse my computer for software and also go to let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer choose show all devices click next um, go to have disk and then browse to the folder where you unzip the all these files so I'm gonna go ahead and browse go to my downloads and go to Kindle Fire Root New 631. Um, folder. Make sure you unzip it into a folder or whatever you named it. Um, if you go into that folder, there's a driver uh, folder called USB underscore driver. Click on Android underscore WinUSB.inf. Hit OK. Um, hit OK. And you'll uh, you'll see these three choices. Make sure you use Android Composite ADB interface, um, not the two above ones. Click Next. Say Yes. And you get this warning screen. Don't worry about it. Install this driver anyways and this will install the drivers now we're not done completely yet uh, we have to do a small ADB hack um, so I'll show you do that when this is done uh, when this is finished we're going to um, okay this is done so now you should have under device manager Android composite ADB interface alright next go back to the folder Kindle Fire root new 631 uh, folder and go to USB driver folder and do a right click on adb underscore USB dot INI and copy and go to your username um, usually it's gonna be under desktop and uh, click on your username uh, for me it's Max and uh, there should be a folder called dot Android if it doesn't exist uh, make a new folder do a right click uh, new folder and name it as dot Android exactly like that go into that directory and right click and paste and this will copy um, the correct uh, ADB so your uh, drivers will be working uh, perfectly so once you've installed the drivers simply go back to the Kindle Fire Root New 631 directory and simply run root kindle fire dot bat alright and also make sure a device manager window is still here um, I'll tell you why and uh, go ahead and hit enter and this will start rooting your Kindle Fire um, just a note if you get any errors here uh, that's probably because your drivers were installed correctly go ahead and uninstall any drivers and uh, start over from the beginning uh, but if you do get this uh, kilobytes per second you're all should be all good to go and if you get any errors if it hangs on fastboot don't worry about it um, make sure uh, there's nothing named 
Kindle with an exclamation mark. If you see anything with Kindle with exclamation mark, go ahead and update the drivers just like we did to Android Composite USB, uh, USB interface, just like we did in the beginning of the videos. Um, go ahead and do that. You might have to do that multiple times sometimes, uh, depending on how your Windows set up. You might not have to, but if it happens, you can uh, update it, and the script will actually wait for you, uh, and will keep going. So just just a note on that. Uh, but now, by the time um, you see this screen, your Kindle Fire you should it should have booted a couple times into Twerp Recovery, and that will keep going. Um, don't worry about it. Let the script run. Um, now it's actually pushing BusyBox, um, installing the Super User SU, and uh, it's going to do a final reboot. And actually, it's going to um, install everything. And uh, you should have Super User, SU, and everything, and should be all good to go uh, once it reboots. And uh, it's rebooting right now. It's almost there. And uh, it's almost done. So this will work on 6.3 or 6.3.1. Um, or is that 6.31? Yeah. 6.3.1. So my Kindle Fire has rebooted completely. Um, now it's pushing super user. Um, don't worry about the error that I get. Um, it's because I already installed it once. Um, and uh, you should be all good to go. Let's go back to our Kindle Fire. Um, so you should be able to see um, under device you might you might see the super user app you might not um, don't worry about it if you don't see it just go ahead and run a uh, rooted app such as Wi-Fi tether app and uh, you should have roots and you'll see that um, you'll see that Wi-Fi tether has been granted you super user permissions it, it should actually pop up because I'm already rooted it's not popping up um, but uh, your Kindle Fire should be fully rooted and also Twerp installed so you can now go ahead and install any custom ROM. Also a note is once you're rooted you cannot um, stream Amazon Prime videos obviously because um, that's how Amazon Kindle works. Um, but you can see that if I try to play a Prime video even though I have a Prime membership it won't let me. So rooting isn't for everybody. It's not for people who want to keep running Kindle OS. It's really for people who want to um, install CM9, CM10 and uh, you know to do that. So once you've gotten to this point you can go ahead and install um, custom ROMs and also make a backup uh, of your custom ROMs before you um, before you install custom ROMs. And let me show you how to get into uh, Twerp Recovery. Go ahead and shut down and let me just give you a small walkthrough for those of you new to all this. Uh, what you can do is download the custom ROM. Um, it's going to be in zip format. Go ahead and copy it to anywhere in your Kindle Fire. And once uh, boot it up, and make sure you hold down the power button for like two seconds until the orange light comes on. That's how you get into Twerp Recovery. Um, so this will enter you into Twerp Recovery. It's going to give you this in landscape mode. Um, so that's how you enter it. If you enter the power key for like two seconds uh, while it's booting up, when you get that screen, you'll be in Twerp. Here you can use backup to uh, backup ROMs. Make sure you make a backup, um, you know, just in case. And also you can install ROMs here. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. And you can also install, uh, you can also completely get it stock factory by installing a custom, not custom, sorry, stock ROM um, using Twerp. Um, that's pretty much it, and uh, go ahead and enjoy your rooted, your newly rooted Kindle Fire. And if you have a Kindle Fire, this is the original version, um, and also I'll be getting the Kindle Fire HD 8.9. Uh, if you have those tablets, don't forget to sign up for my uh, site, my email list at rootkindlefire.com. We update you with uh, ROM of the Week, well, ROM of the Month, like once a month. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your Kindle Fire. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Uh, it helps me greatly. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Stay high on Android and uh, get this going. All right, see y'all later.